Okay, so we are going to play uh, SSI Computer Baseball. Uh, this is our uh, second time playing this one, but we are going to play the Apple II version today. So let's bring this up here. This is our uh, this is the Apple II Win or the Apple Win emulator. Uh, so loaded the game into uh, Drive One here, boot it up, and we have uh, similar options to uh, what we saw in the Commodore 64 version. Um, I believe the Apple version was done first. This one's got a copyright of 1981, and we have the 1981 teams here. So we're going to play a game against the computer. New game. Uh, computer. I'm going to be. We're going to do uh, game five, 1981 Dodgers against the Expos. Uh, separate data disk. I don't actually. Let's see if we have them on here. We don't have those teams here. Uh, I was looking at a different game. All right, so I'm going to change this up here. We'll do uh, let's do Orioles Pirates. I guess. Okay. Just gonna restart. So we'll switch gears. I think I was looking at uh, status pro baseball, not computer baseball, when I was looking at those teams. So we'll play that one next time. All right, back to our main menu. Orioles seventy nine and the home team will be the Pirates. because we're at Pittsburgh. I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, computer set the starting lineup. Sure. Or computer choose the lineup. And let's go I 11. So let me bring up, um, let me put a baseball reference here and just look at their lineup real quick. So 81, sorry, not 81, 79 Pirates. And we'll go to adding 
Explorers. World Series. Yeah, I know we picked the wrong pitchers here, but we're going to save it this seats. Yeah, fly 11 win the mini of the pitch then, but anyhow, this is the lineup that I'm going to select. We got Moreno. Foley second, playing shortstop. Dave Parker batting third. Parker in right field. Bill Robinson in left. Lee Stargell first base. Madlock. Bill Madlock at third. Steve Rosio and Bill Garner, second base. Number nine is the pitcher. Well, lineup is okay. Yes. All right, so Peter should be selecting. Orioles lineup. Uh, no. Right. Okay. Bumbry Murray, Singleton, Renicky, Sensei. Garcia, Dower, Dempsey, McGregor. Keyboard inputs. So, slightly different graphic uh, representation than what we saw in the Commodore 64 version. But same basic information on the screen. Should uh, populate the info in a second here. All right. Top half of inning one is our little uh, character uh, representations, uh, defensive action. So, what's it? Enter. That's your animation for Alright, so we got Omar Moreno up. And there's a strikeout for McGregor. Okay, 
Shortstop Tim Foley. Another strikeout for McGregor. Dave Parker's up. And he flies out to right. So no score after one. since a third base pops up to the shortstop Eco Garcia and there's the first base runner base on balls Looks like a seven over here. I guess that's his uh, running speed rating. And a pitch, the tower, and Bly Levin strikes him out. All right, bottom of two, no score. Gregor on the hill, facing four, five, and six for the Pirates. Bill Robinson up. And he pops up to third. I've been hitting return here for uh, the action. We can also do an H to hit, B to pitch. Okay, Bill Mad locks up. Single to left. He's got a seven running rating, so two outs. Let's try to get him in the scoring position here or get a uh, get runners on first and third with Nicosia. Hit and run the HR. Didn't matter. Okay. All right, top of the third, no score. All right. So, same deal here. You can hit enter, you can hit B and enter. Third, and Dempsey's out at first. So here's the pitcher, Scott McGregor. And Blylevin keys him. That's two down. Al Bumbry, top of the order. Fly out to right, so. Bottom of the third, no score. All right, Phil Garner. And he 
rounds out to short. Alright, now for Blylevin facing McGregor. Blylevin takes in, takes a healthy cut, puts the bat on the ball, and pops up to third. There's Omar. Two outs in the inning. I'm just going to swing away. And he flies out to right. All right, top of the fourth. Locked in a pitcher's duel here so far. And Eddie Murray's up. And he whiffs. Kenny Singleton struck him out. <clears throat> and now Gary Renicky. He's got a three run rating, probably not going anywhere as far as base stealing with two outs. Uh, Desense hits it to short. He's going to go to second for the force. Fielder's choice and three down. So, bottom of four, no score. Tim Foley grounds out to his opposite number. Dave Parker, the Cobra, shallow fly out to right. Bill Robinson, he struck out. Alright, top five, scoreless game. Bottom of the O's order coming up. Oh, they're uh, single to center. Kiko Garcia breaks up the no-hitter by Flylevin. Leading off the fifth. He's got a seven run rating. <coughs> okay, Dower grounds out to third. And it looks like Garcia is going to move up to second. All right. So one down, runner on second. For Rick Dempsey. Dempsey gets a pop fly to second. And now the pitcher is due up. Scott McGregor. He's going to bat for himself. And Lylevin strikes him out. Top of the fifth. Sorry, bottom of the fifth. And still no score. Willie Sargell pops. Oh, double to center. Oh, that might look like a Z out on second. I'm going to guess that's a two. So, he's not running anywhere. Bad luck. Oh, okay. Intentional walk. 
I see what you're doing here. Hmm. Yeah, tough call. Scoreless game. No outs. Nicosia does have a 288 average. We could bun him over and pitch to uh, let Gardner hit with one out. Second and third. And I'm going to hit away. Let's see what we can do with the bat here. ground into a double play. Well, runner on third, two outs. Bill Garner wraps a grounder to short. And Bellinger throws him out. Oh, check that. Kiko Garcia is it short. Kiko throws him out. Alright, so. No score. Lilin facing the top of the order. And Bumbry grounds out to short. One out. Eddie Murray's up. Struck him out. Two down for Singleton. Shallow fly out to right, so that retires the side. And we head to the bottom of the sixth. Nothing, nothing. Lyle of at bat. He's staying in there. And he strikes out for out number one. Moreno, 282 hitter. Grounds out the second. Tim Foley, also a 288 hitter. ball to McGregor. Fielder bottles the ball for an error, so Foley's on first. He's got a five-run rating. Dave Parker up. We're going to let Parker swing away. Alright, runners at first and third on a single by the Cobra. Bill Robinson's up. Parker's got a six rating. We're not going to run ourselves out of the inning here. Single to left. Somehow Parker makes it to third. And it's a one nothing ball game. Bill Robinson with the RBI. Knocking in Foley. And so now we have Parker on third, Robinson on first, two down, and Willie Stargell up. Oh, base on balls. So we got bases loaded, two down for Bill Madlock. And so far, he's leaving McGregor in. See here. Maybe not. There he goes, going to the bullpen. Well, 
He's not going to the bullpen. He's warming somebody up. So Sammy Stewart's up in the bullpen. Again, this is the uh, first game for a uh, microcomputer, first baseball game uh, that was uh, you know, strictly a uh, manage-only game, and it is nice to see that they had the warm-up uh, option for relief pitchers here. Uh, there are several games uh, released after this that omitted that, and but I, I think it is one of those features that's you know, adds to the realism. Uh, okay, base is loaded. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna hit away. Oh, look at that! Grand slam from Mad Dog. I have nothing. Bucks on top. Deep into the left field seats. So, Nicosia is up. Base on balls. McGregor looks like he's pretty much toast. Garner, grounder to Liner to third, line drive to third, that's an out. So, top of the seventh, uh, Pirates put up a five spot. I would assume we'll see Sammy Stewart next inning, but let's see how that plays out. So now we've got Fly 11 facing Renicky. Lines out to third. Third to Sensei. And he's going to ground out to short. Pico Garcia, 247 average. And flies out to left. Okay, bottom of seven. seeing my prompt, so it would appear that AC is going to make the uh, change here. AC being the uh, name of the computer manager. Obviously this team was, uh, Baltimore was managed by Earl Weaver back in the day. Seventh inning stretch here, going a little bit longer than usual. So, Fly 11's pitching a one hitter so far. We're going to allow him to bat for himself here. It's bat on the ball, grounds out to short. Omar Moreno. And McGregor's still in there for some reason. Thought he was going to go to the mound and make a change. And he decided to keep him in. But so far, it's working out. 
Got a couple of ground outs this inning. third. Alright, three grounders and we're through seven. Pittsburgh up. Five zip. Alright, got bottom of the order due up. Rich Dower flies out to left. Here's Rick Dempsey. Oh, draws the walk. Got a one run rating, so he's going to pretty much stand on the base. He's not going anywhere. Uh, McGregor batting for himself. Let's see. Interesting. Based on the pause in the action here, it would appear that we're going to get a pinch hitter. Possibly. McGregor of the 060 average. Obviously, the DH was in the American League then, so I wonder if that's just a generic batting average there. He's putting Don Stanhouse up in the bullpen. Are we replacing the batter? Based on uh, who he's got on his bench, he definitely has some some uh, pinch hitters, pinch hitting options. There we go. All right, Pat Kelly's up. Replaces McGregor, so Stan has to come in in the bottom of the eighth. Fly Levin, after all that, Fly Levin strikes out Pat Kelly. And Al Bunbury, leadoff man, is up. Okay, got a little something going on here. It's only the second hit off by 11, so uh, first and third from Murray. Oh, there's a single, and the O's are on the board. First and third. Five to one ball game. Now we're not overly concerned, but let's see, bullpen. Well, we can do a couple things here. We can visit the mound. That's V M. Alright, good to know. <coughs> now. So, got pretty basic stats listed here. We don't have saves. We don't have strikeouts or walks listed, so. Uh, but we, uh, we want to get Kent to Colby. Warming up. We 
do have two outs in the inning, so... Yeah, we haven't done this yet, so when we get our prompt back, we're going to guard the lines. And let's pay attention to see if first and third baseman uh, move closer to the lines on the uh, field diagram. Our prompt back here. BL. Yep, they moved over. Okay. Defensive action. Now we're going to pitch. Let's see if our positioning did anything for us. Looks like it didn't matter because Singleton doubles down the line. The left. And now it's a 5 3 ball game. Alrighty. So if you notice in the bullpen section here, Stanhouse has a plus, which most likely indicates that he's ready to come in. Tacolby does not have anything here, so he's not warmed up yet. So we do have to, uh, not that we couldn't bring Tacolby in, but probably not optimal since he's not warmed up. Pitch to Renneke. Grounder back to the pitcher, and he's out at first. So, Blylevin got roughed up a bit that inning, but we survive, and it's 5 3. Alright, bottom of the eighth. He did bat for McGregor last inning, so Stanhouse should be coming into the ball game here. Uh, we're going to leave Tepelby warming up there, so once he's ready, we can bring him in. And I haven't used them, but there there is a designation to do a normal or shallow outfield positioning. Uh, there's infield in at corners, which is IC. Infield in all around is IN. Guard the lines is GL. Double play depth is DP. Normal infield depth is NI. So just a couple of the options I haven't used. Uh, intentional walk is IW. Uh, you do have a PA pitch around batter. I don't know if we'll use that one. Uh, let's see here. Okay, Parker's up. He flies out to Bumbry in center. Bill Robinson, the batter. Fly out to left. Uh, also on defense, there's three options for holding the base runners. There's hold normal, HN, hold loose, HL, hold tight, HT. And for uh, and if runners on base, you have run aggressively, RA, run normally, RN, run conservatively, RC. So uh, they're a little. Uh, Little more granular options than some games that uh, even came after this. So a lot of a lot of thought put into the uh, product here, even though it was the uh, first effort. Like I said on the microcomputer. All right, top of nine. Uh, Tacoby's ready to come in, and we're going to do a bullpen change. 
aqui. So you can see his status to call these ready. Bring pitcher in game. Pitcher number one to call the. Exit this menu. All right. So you should see nobody in the bullpen, and the pitcher should change from Violin to Tacovi here in a moment. So, like the sensei is up. Deep fly to left. And the Pirates fans breathe a collective sigh of relief there. That one uh, took them back to the warning track. Garcia, rounder to third. And he's out at first, so Orioles with two outs. Rich Dower. Base on balls. Not a quick base runner, so I wonder if they pinch run here. I don't know. I don't think they have a whole lot of speed on their bench, but uh, Rick Dempsey's the batter. Colby trying to get a ground ball here. Oh, single to left. First and second. I'm going to assume that they're going to bat for Stanhouse. Let's see. Here, it's kind of to call these game to win or lose at this point. And based on the pause in the action, it would appear that we're going to get a pinch hitter. A wise move, he gets somebody up in the bullpen. Uh, in case we uh, tie it up here. That's kind of what I figured, but wasn't sure. John Lowenstein. And here's the pitch. Blasted to center. Moreno camps under it. And makes the catch for the final out. Pittsburgh prevails 5 3. Uh, as they did in real life, they won the uh, 79 series. 
four games to three over Baltimore. And let's see if we get here we go, box score, screen or printer. We'll go with screen. We don't have a printer. There's our line score. Five runs for the Pirates in the sixth. Three runs for the O's in the eighth. And that was about it. All right, box score for the Orioles. And similar to the Commodore 64 version, uh, SSI Computer Baseball lists the batters basically in the order of their fielding position numbers, so 2 through 9. Uh, then you have the pinch hitters at the bottom, and the pitchers who batted, which would have been McGregor in this case. So doesn't show the actual batting order, which uh, kind of deducts some points for that. Not sure why they did it that way. But I have seen other games do it in a similar manner. Uh, just for me, I, I like to see it in the order that they actually batted in the lineup. So, personal preference, I guess, but that's that's kind of the, the standard for a, a box score, too. So, anyway, there's that. McGregor, five runs, none of them earned. Here's the Pittsburgh batting order. Obviously the uh, Madlock Grand Slam there. Make a difference. Lyle Evan pitched well. A little scuffed up in that eighth inning. Gets the win. Colby should have got the save there. Not sure why it's not denoted. Do you want to play again? Well, I do, but not right now. So I'm going to say no to that. And that kicks us out to the prompt here. So that's the end of the ball game, folks. Uh, we will be back uh, with some more classic and modern uh, baseball sims and also some console uh, and arcade baseball. So stay tuned to the Hardball Retro channel. And uh, for now, signing off. Take care. See you soon.